Hello, hello. So, as I mentioned in the chat, adrenaline rush, not usually speaking uh, to a big crowd of uh, specialists. So, it's me, I'm Valeras, uh, I'm software developer working at Mako, uh, currently based in Vilnius in Lithuania. Uh, looking at my hashtags, basically, I try to cover what my hobbies is or expertise. Uh, I'm basically building things with SharePoint from SharePoint uh, second version 2003. So I'm one of those that uh, still remember how it looked. And um, well, my credentials are on the bottom. And uh, most of uh, my career, I was also infrastructure engineer. So that's related to, to my example, actually, why I you know, was a bit surprised uh, to learn something new. So I will share it with you guys. So how it started for me, uh, I usually not the one who is very good in ideas and um, always envy people to submit submitting samples in, uh, in, in, in those um, repos. I usually just get one and upgrade. It's easier for me uh, than to think on an idea. But someone asked for the help uh, in issues and it was like, uh, can you help me just uh, use SPFX control iframe panel, which was not working. So I thought, uh, why not? And started working on that one. And it was, uh, for me as a developer, of course, it was not uh, very complicated. And I won't be sharing much of the code because there is none. But the um, result was uh, pretty nice. I will, I'm, I'm already using that quite extensively. So this is... Um, Second part, this is how a description of imp implementation looks like in um, SPFX dev controls uh, that is shared. And you can see it's not much of a code. It's just one component with some properties, which I used in the code. And this is my code. As you can see, it's uh, uh, those components that were primary button and iframe panel basically doing all the magic. And uh, what is what magic is about? So what I didn't know when you use iframe uh, like this with this control, you could use that uh, to display list item uh, with all the action, uh, all the uh, controls on the top in the panel in the right side in SharePoint. Same can be used for the list. Same can be used for the preview of a document, even edit document. And uh, I did try Power Apps, works as well. So now demo time, how it does it look? It's uh, a bit ugly, sorry about that. But uh, let's check uh, what is the setup of that part. For me, it's very, very uh, simple one. Just one URL you want to open with this button, right? So, and uh, I posted, uh, just list edit form, for example. And I was really surprised that you can get all the actions here without any hassle uh, out of the box. And uh, it was really nice. I can also uh, think a lot of solutions that you can use it. For example, uh, well, when we were talking about search extensibilities and uh, Content query the part, for example, all those results that you, you use handlebars, you can use that for the document preview or edit item from the result, from the search result, which is neat. Sometimes people need that. So check this out. List preview. Oh, document preview. This is just opening document and you can edit it, saving. Again, with all the ribbon, pretty nice. List view. With all the Val edit Valeras, view. So, sorry, yeah. can, you, can you zoom a, a bit to zoom? So there's too much white space on the screen. Excellent, brilliant. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. And uh, uh, okay, so and last one is Power Apps, just adding Power Apps link also works quite nicely. So, this is, uh, well, success story for me because, well, uh, one, I, I got um, a new sample, and another, I learned new things that uh, 
uh, from those uh, controls, which uh, I know they exist, but none of those I tried extensively, or uh, just some of those. And iframe panel is one of the things I discovered and really wanted to share. And that's basically it. That's fantastic. Thank you. And uh, for for those of you who are wondering, hey, you know, I don't, I, I want to contribute to the community. I just don't know where to get started. This is a great example of Valeris uh, looking at the issues list in the uh, PMP samples gallery, and then looking for. Uh, sometimes you'll see items marked as help wanted, as you can see this one here. Uh, you can actually volunteer. Uh, anything that says help wanted is is open for contributions. And the other thing too is we'll often mark things that are uh, a bit uh, simpler to get started uh, as a good first issue. And that's uh, what you see the the purple one there, good first issue. So if you're looking for inspiration, that's a great place to do. And Valeris, thank you for your for your demo. Again, everyone, uh, please put your hands together for Valeras. It was his first presentation, and I hope we can see many more from Valeras in the future. All right. Yay. Yay. Yay.